Imagine a united East Africa, where the vibrant cultures and economies of Ethiopia and Kenya merge to create a powerhouse on the continent. This idea, while seemingly far-fetched, has sparked discussions and debates among politicians, academics and citizens alike. But what would a merger between these two nations truly look like? In this video, we will delve into the potential benefits and challenges of a hypothetical merger between Ethiopia and Kenya, examining the political, economic, and cultural implications of such a move. Ethiopia and Kenya both have rich and diverse cultures with thousands of years of history. Ethiopia is well known for its ancient civilization, as well as its long history of religious and political influence in the region. Kenya, on the other hand, has a more recent history and is known for its diverse cultures and peoples, as well as its natural beauty. Both countries have experienced political turmoil, but have managed to maintain their independence. There would be several advantages if Ethiopia and Kenya merged. One of the most obvious is the possibility of economic growth. The potential for economic growth if Ethiopia and Kenya merged is significant because it would combine the resources and labor force of two of Africa's largest and most populous countries. Ethiopia and Kenya are both in the East African region, and their economies and natural resources are very similar. Both countries rely heavily on agriculture and have abundant resources such as water, land, and minerals. Furthermore, both countries have large and rapidly growing populations, which could provide a significant boost to a united country's labor force. Increased trade and investment opportunities would be one of the major advantages of an Ethiopia-Kenya merger. The two countries have a combined population of over 200 million people and a GDP of more than $100 billion. This would create a large and appealing market for international investors, as well as allow for greater regional economic integration. Furthermore, a united Ethiopia and Kenya could attract and retain foreign investment by leveraging their combined resources and infrastructure. Another potential advantage of a merger would be increased efficiency and productivity across the economy. A united Ethiopia and Kenya, for example, could collaborate to develop and improve their transportation and communication infrastructure, making it easier for goods and services to move between the two countries. This could result in increased productivity and lower costs for businesses, as well as improved consumer access to goods and services. A merger would also assist both countries in dealing with internal economic challenges, such as poverty, unemployment, and underdevelopment. A united Ethiopia and Kenya could invest in programs and initiatives that promote economic growth and development, such as education, healthcare, and infrastructure, by pooling their resources and labor force. However, it is important to note that there are potential challenges and risks associated with an Ethiopia-Kenya merger. These include political and cultural differences, which may make it difficult for the two countries to reach an agreement on a shared vision and future direction. Furthermore, certain groups within each country may object because they do not want to give up their autonomy. A merger of Ethiopia and Kenya has the potential to bring significant economic benefits to the region, such as increased trade and investment opportunities, improved efficiency and productivity, and greater access to resources and labor force. Both countries possess natural resources that could be used to benefit the entire population. The Union of Ethiopia and Kenya as one country would have a significant impact on the two countries' combined natural resources. Ethiopia and Kenya are both rich in natural resources, with each country having resources that would complement one another if the two countries merged. Ethiopia is famous for its abundant water resources, which include the Blue Nile and its tributaries, as well as the Omo and Awash rivers. 
This would provide a consistent supply of water for the entire country and could be used to generate hydroelectric power. Kenya, on the other hand, is rich in mineral resources, particularly in the exploration of oil and gas. The country has recently discovered significant oil and gas reserves, which would be a valuable asset for the combined country. Furthermore, Kenya is home to a diverse range of wildlife, including elephants, lions, and zebras, which could draw tourists to the merged country. The merger would also bring together the agricultural resources of the two countries, which would greatly benefit the country's economy. Ethiopia is known for producing coffee and tea, whereas Kenya is known for producing tea and horticultural crops. The merger would also give both countries' agricultural products access to a larger market, increasing their economic value. Furthermore, the merger would create new investment and development opportunities in both countries, particularly in infrastructure, transportation, and energy. Ethiopia and Kenya's combined resources would attract investors from all over the world, resulting in the development of new businesses and industries. Overall, the union of Ethiopia and Kenya as one country would have a significant impact on the two countries' combined natural resources. The merger would pool both countries' resources and provide a foundation for future development and economic growth. A larger country would also have more bargaining power in regional and international politics, as well as the potential to attract more foreign investment. A merger of Ethiopia and Kenya as one country could have significant regional and international implications. With a combined population of over 200 million people, it would be Africa's most populous country giving it significant bargaining power in regional and international negotiations. One of the primary advantages of a merger would be the combined country's increased economic power. Ethiopia and Kenya are both major agricultural producers in the region, and a merger would expand the market for these products, making it more appealing to foreign investors. Furthermore, a merger would create a larger pool of skilled labor, increasing the country's attractiveness to foreign investors. Another significant advantage of a merger would be increased political stability in the combined country. Ethiopia and Kenya have a long history together and many cultural similarities. A merger would almost certainly result in increased cooperation between the two countries on security and regional stability issues. This would benefit not only the combined country, but also the region as a whole, because a stable Ethiopia and Kenya would be less likely to become involved in conflicts that would destabilize the region. It's also worth mentioning that a merger of this kind would also bring about a lot of challenges, such as cultural, linguistic, political, and economic integration. It would require a lot of dialogue and compromise between the two countries to make it happen. In conclusion, a merger between Ethiopia and Kenya as one country could have significant implications in regional and international politics. It would increase the bargaining power of the combined country in regional and international negotiations and could potentially attract more foreign investment. However, it would also require a lot of dialogue and compromise between the two countries to make it happen. Another benefit would be the ability to share resources and knowledge, which would lead to a higher standard of living for all citizens. Ethiopia and Kenya are both rich in natural resources, including fertile land, water, and minerals. By merging as one country, they would be able to share these resources more efficiently and effectively. For example, Ethiopia could share its water resources with Kenya to help alleviate water shortages, while Kenya could share its minerals with Ethiopia to help spur economic development, also allow for the sharing of knowledge and expertise. 
Ethiopia and Kenya have different strengths in different areas. And by coming together as one country, they would be able to learn from each other's strengths and improve their own. For example, Ethiopia has a strong agricultural sector, while Kenya has a strong tourism sector. By sharing knowledge and expertise, Ethiopia could learn from Kenya's tourism industry to improve its own, while Kenya could learn from Ethiopia's agricultural sector to improve its own. Furthermore, a merger would also increase the ability to share resources and knowledge, which would lead to a higher standard of living for all citizens. A merged Ethiopia-Kenya could have a larger and more diversified economy, which would create more jobs and opportunities for citizens. This would also lead to increased economic growth and higher living standards for all citizens. In conclusion, a merger between Ethiopia and Kenya as one country could bring many benefits to the citizens of both nations. By sharing resources, knowledge, and expertise, the merger would lead to a higher standard of living for all citizens and a more prosperous future for both countries. However, despite all these benefits, we must note that there would also be challenges to such a merger. One of the biggest concerns would be cultural and linguistic differences. Both countries have their own unique cultures and languages, and it would be important to find a way to preserve these identities while also fostering a sense of unity. Additionally, there would be the question of how power would be divided between the different regions and what kind of government would be put in place. While the idea of Ethiopia and Kenya merging into one country is an interesting thought experiment, it is important to consider the potential benefits and drawbacks. It would be a difficult process, but if done right, it could lead to a brighter future for all citizens. Ultimately, it's up to the people of Ethiopia and Kenya to decide if a merger is something they would be willing to pursue. So what do you guys think? Is this idea to merge Ethiopia and Kenya a hit or a miss? Let us know in the comments. We also want to thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button and also subscribe for more content like this.